Cameron Prida never thought he'd be spending his Friday chasing a kangaroo through a frozen field. It wasn't too fun. Uh, I was doing my best, but, uh, you know, I'm just a, a guy with a net. The female red kangaroo has been on the loose since Thursday when it escaped from its handlers during a stop at the Oshawa Zoo while en route to Quebec. Dozens have spotted the out-of-place animal since then. He just kind of walked up to it and the kangaroo ran off right after, so yeah. He didn't, he didn't really have a chance. No, definitely not. The ca- I, kangaroos are much faster than humans. Haiga Taher watched and recorded as Pride Out tried to wrangle the roo. One of the last to see it on Friday, she's hoping more resources are added to the search. I was more just concerned for the kangaroo because it was like it obviously doesn't know the area so we kind of just like felt bad for it because also there's coyotes and stuff in that area. The search has primarily been focused around the location it was last spotted northeast of Oshawa but those looking for it admit they don't know if it's still there and after a thermal imaging drone came up without a sighting the area it may now be in has likely expanded. Ryder says red kangaroos are mostly active at dusk and dawn, and it's unlikely it's gone too far. These kangaroos can handle uh, temperatures up to about minus 10. At that point in time, it gets to be very risky. So we're hoping that this warm spell kind of lasts long enough so that we can get a hold of this creature and get it uh, back safe and sound. He's also hoping enough people have heard about the missing creature to adjust their speed while driving and that local wildlife like coyotes won't be another factor they have to worry about. Kangaroos are incredibly soft. They are so wonderful. And I feel terrible that this thing is out there somewhere and I really just want to try and get it back. For now, everyone is waiting on a sighting and for someone to call it in so this bizarre escape can end on a happy tone. Matthew Bingley, Global News.